This is the Lily Pad Tiny or Lily Pad Twinkle. I forget which one. Um, but basically, um, it has uh, four outputs, each one uh, that is being fed to an LED. And it's kind of an, a transition to the Lily Pad for, um, for younger folks who might not really um, be that inclined to use or to um, look into something like a um, processor board. So um, basically what this does is it gives them a small version of a um, of the um, lily pad and uh, it has a pre-programmed um, uh, output set of outputs with different kinds of blinks and things and um, the idea is that they would actually sew it without necessarily knowing what it does but then they have something kind of cool that they can wear and then you can show them the back end probably on a proto kit for the lily pad um, so my my kids have been doing uh, softies with eyes that glow ugly stuffed animals with eyes that glow and um, bracelets with twinkly parts um, you know and we we vary it up with the kinds of LEDs that we use and things like that I did want to point out that um, even for an introductory um, class yes it's electronics but again um, the group is not necessarily going to be that used to spending money on electronics so although each of these components is not too expensive on its own um, I've uh, gone ahead and used um, regular LEDs in, in um, my circuit just for demonstration purposes. Um, when you get down to it, each one of these, the Lily Micro or the Lily Regular um, LEDs, they, um, they end up costing about a dollar each. This ends up costing about four. This is about seven. So, you know, it's about a $15 setup, I would think. And... Uh, to be honest, um, I just like that the um, LEDs on the uh, the regular LEDs shine so brightly. There's no question as to whether they're on or off. This is the violet, and when it comes on, you can just barely see it. And then this is the white. This shows up pretty well, but I just wanted to point that out. So um, I've used for the thread here. Um, this is the regular bobbin of conductive thread. It costs just a few dollars on the SparkFun site. And it's kind of a coarser thread, but it works just fine for this sort of length of a circuit um, lines. And, uh, you know, for, uh, for that size of trace. It, if for much longer, I really don't know if it will actually, um, uh, you know, on a a three volt battery if it will actually um, produce enough current to um, to let the LEDs go on but for this purpose it's perfect one of the things you'll have to look out for is the fact that the um, conductive thread is unshielded so that when you um, are sewing your circuit you have to be very careful not to cross the traces otherwise you'll short um, your circuit out and uh, even when you um, when you wear the clothing, if there's a chance that it'll fold over and touch, then you run the risk that it won't work the way um, you've designed it to.